everyone we are out here in west park on a beautiful sunshiny day and we're gonna take a walk in the park and see what we can find in the woodlands did you know that there are over 500 species of wildlife that use oaks like the one right behind me as a source for habitat and food so these include insects these include birds these include small mammals. There's a lot of things that rely on these oak trees. So anytime someone asks what a good species to plant in their backyard if they have the space for it, I always say an oak tree because oak trees provide a variety of, like I said, food sources and, and habitat for our wildlife. So we are in a really interesting area right now. This is called an ephemeral wetland area. So it's inside a wooded habitat um, and the water behind me is not here year round. Um, so we, when it rains, this will all fill in. And then this becomes kind of a filtration system. So as it warms up, this area might dry up until the next rainstorm. But this area with standing water houses things like snakes and frogs and salamanders. So it's really, really important habitat. Um, but it's also important for any runoff that's nearby. So if there's a parking lot or you know driveways nearby and we have runoff coming rushes into this area and this is kind of like a storage unit or even a sponge you might say um, and this will sort out all of the particulates um, and even pollutants it'll soak it into the ground um, and store this water until it can be evaporated or it can soak down another species that we find early in the spring is the may apple so these are those um, green plants. They have that umbrella-like leaf structure hanging over. And they'll also get a green apple-like structure um, underneath them. And that is the actual May apple. Um, some people do say that it tastes like a green apple. I have never tried it, but um, the deer do love them and other critters in the woodland love them. They also say that you can find morel mushrooms, which um, as if you're from Indiana, you know, are a delicacy um, in the state. So they say that you can find morels around uh, May apples. So we're going to continue our journey and see if we can find any morels. So it is springtime in Indiana and we all know that those early spring ephemerals are coming up and they're here. They don't last forever. Ephemeral means quickly fading. So these flowers will, will come up. You'll be able to see them for a little bit and then they will go dormant again. The first one that we have come upon is Jack in the Pulpit, which is a really exciting one to see in a woodland. Um, it has these three leaves on it. It has the stalk and there is Jack in the pulpit. So if you don't know some of your spring ephemerals, a really good start is to download the iNaturalist app. It is a free app. You can download it on your phone. And basically you take a picture of a plant. You want it to be a pretty descriptive picture. So either of the showy flower or the leaves or the main part of the plant. You only want to capture that part of the plant and then you send it in and it'll give you ideas of what that plant might be. So this can also be used for trees. It can be used um, for even bugs too. So it's called the iNaturalist app. It's a free download um, and great to use in the field, especially in the springtime when everything is starting to bloom.